be the right club today. Yes! What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to go over how to remove a grip that has been installed using double-sided tape, right? So we don't use double-sided tape, really. We use air. If you haven't checked that video, check it out. We'll put it right up here. We'll also put it at the end of the video as well. And it comes right off. Now you can add your layers onto it. You can ramrod some weight, steel powder, whatever it is you need to do. And when you're ready to put it back on, our grip is still fine. Just put it on and blow it back on. Done. But in the event that you come across a grip that let's say maybe you want to try to save uh, that's been used double-sided tape. Obviously, if you don't want to do this method, your other option is to just to grab your good old hook knife and slice the whole thing up. But let's say we want to make an attempt here to save this grip. Now, this is not 100% foolproof every time, right? This is going to work, eh, let's call it 75% of the time, really. So what we're going to need are a couple things. Well, three things, actually. You're going to need this right here. So I got this at the Golf Works. You can see right here. This is a grip saver tool. Essentially, what we're going to do with this is we work this underneath the grip, and you'll see it has a little channel here. And what that channel does is it allows you to put solvent in it from the top and it'll run all the way down and then you slowly work this around a rotating manner until you get to the bottom and then you slide the whole grip off okay so other thing we're going to need is solvent and you're going to need a lot of solvent if you want to do this right you don't go cheap with the solvent now's not the time to uh, be economical and then the last thing i like to use is a bucket pail tupperware something because you want to have something for this grip to sit in that you can rotate it around in. All right, so first step in this process here is you want to just kind of roll back the grip a little bit, okay? Just to expose some of that lip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our tool. We're going to place it under that exposed part. And you're going to make an attempt here to get it over like so see how we have that just barely in the grip there now we're going to place it in our bucket here and we're going to start to put our solvent in it now go easy i mean go heavy on the solvent and holding the head of the grip you're just going to rotate around and apply slight pressure down the grip again when you get about an inch in put more solvent you're going to continue this rotating down we're working our way you can see now we're about this far down into the grip all right so we've got another inch we're going to load it up with more solvent and continue to press down and rotate light pressure if you push too hard you run the risk of blowing through the grip okay more solvent and rotate the more solvent you use the easier this will be to clean up because this is just step one of this okay so that should be enough to get us to the bottom. Okay, just hit the bottom. Now, we're going to grab our grip. Let's get a towel here, because this is messy. Okay. Like so. Grab our towel, and we're going to grab our grip and pull it out 
this out. Now our grip has been saved. Uh, we got lucky on this one because this was installed by Titleist, or TaylorMade, excuse me, and they used a very cheap tape on this. If we look inside the grip, it's fairly clean all the way to the bottom. Okay? So, we don't really need to do too much with this, although I do like to have one of these long brushes here, bristle brushes, again from the Golf Works, and you put that down at the bottom and just kind of go like so, and it'll take all the any debris or leftover residue in there. But again, this is pretty clean. So let's say you did this and you ended up with grip tape that was kind of similar to this, not this clear style, which comes out pretty good. And after you've taken the grip out, I'll show you, you have bits of tape in there. You see that tape that's hanging out in there? Uh, that we weren't able to get out. That's when you would use this bristle and you would have to work. You can feel that tape actually right here. And you'd have to try to loosen that tape up and maybe you get it out. And there it is, right here. There's our little piece that was hanging out. So now this grip is totally clean. But that's how you have to do it if you're using grip tape and you want to make an attempt to save your grip. There's really no other way than to go through this process, which is obviously time consuming, tedious, and frankly, a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, that's why we use air. Air eliminates all of this. We don't ever have to do this ever again. Once you've used air and masking tape to put a grip on, you don't have to worry about taking double-sided tape off. You don't even have to worry about taking regular tape off for that matter. Once it's on there, it's good. The only time you would have to take the tape off is, let's say maybe you put a couple layers on, you put two wraps and you want to go down to one wrap. That's the only time you'd have to take it off. That's why we use air and not this. But. If you want to take a grip off and try to save it, this is the tool you need. Follow the instructions. And 75% uh, of the time, it works every time. Until next time, make sure you swing as hard as you can, just in case you hit the ball. G2 out.